hi guys this is study here i'm here to share with you guys um a gift that i made uh or something that i made for my friend and i want to send it to her um as a gift uh to show um all the, you know to show my appreciation to show um my gratitude everything she's done everything she's given me um sent my way um this is for my um girlfriend edie the paper crazy lady so, Edie Girl, if you're watching, I suggest you stop this video if you don't want to see your surprise. Um, so, anyhow, um, I'm just using this cardstock paper here just to give a little bit of a um, um, nice, you know, look before I start my video and show you my, my room. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and begin. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this down here because this paper had nothing to do with the collection paper that I used. Okay, um, I made a, um, a journal for my buddy and using all these fibers here that were shared and sent to me by Scarlett and Sandy, uh, Scarlett, uh, Pekingese, uh, Scrapping Pekingese and Sandy, Love to Scrap, and then some that I already had. So, um, that's what I used. And then I also added this little, um, ball it's a rose okay I don't know if you can see that I hope you can I'm trying to focus with the camera stay um, maybe if I bring it this way I don't know if you can see it anyway um, I did I added that and then I added a few charms this is like um, an anklet or a bracelet I can't remember if it was an anklet or bracelet but I added it on there um, all I did was I clipped it you know from the from the clasp and then just hooked it onto the ring the binding ring and then I um, added some little bells I added a couple of palm trees because she loves palm trees so I added two and I added another one down here and then I kind of just um, went um, on this one I went over with my um, laminator and then this one I went over it with some crackle paint and then um, some glossy accent I added a couple of little charms to um, to the palm trees, and then I also added what else did I add in here? Oh, and I also added her initial. Okay, and she actually sent me these um, chipboard letters, and all I did was added some bling, and then I added some glossy accent to the E. E for Edie. And let's see what else did I add in here. That's pretty much it. I just added in, like I said, little little charms here and then a charm with the bell at the bottom. So, and these fibers. Now, um, I was able to make this um, also. Um, I using, using the cinch that she had sent me um, previously on one of my racks. When we first, first started doing our rack swaps, um, it was maybe like maybe our... Too many maybes, right? Uh, I'm gonna say maybe our second rack swap, our third, and she sent me her cinch, and she sent me some binding wire, and uh, she just sent me so many goodies that day. And if you go in there into my channel and look for the one where it, the um, the cinch is at, you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, so she added that to my package. So um, okay, so. Let's go ahead and start with the binder. Now, the I mean, I'm sorry, the uh, journal. The journal here is mm, is not of a certain collection paper or you know paper line or anything. It's just randomly paper that I have in my stash. Papers that have been sent to me by Edie girlfriend, Scarlett and Sandy. Um, Edie, the, the paper crazy lady. Scarlett, scrapping picking Sandy, love to scrap. So, um, those have been my, um, and Sandy's my sister. I added this one here later, um, and the reason why I added it later is because I really didn't like the way it turned out right here, but because it had the palm tree, I decided to open it up and add a few more things, and then add this one in here after all. So, um, I don't know, maybe you can do something here, girlfriend, I'm sorry. But I glimmer missed it with the, uh, Perfect Pearls, um, using the... Perfect Pearls Interference Red, and this one she sent it to me as well. 
um, throughout our packages. And then this page here, I left it blank, and I left the back here blank too. She can do whatever she wants to it. On this page here, I went ahead and I added a, a chipboard um, pocket that um, was sent to me by Scrapping Pekingese, Scarlet. And then I added some of the feathers that I picked up at Joanne's. I made the little flower and I added one of the little bread um, <clears throat> with a um, center pearl. Um, that's the way that Brad came, uh, that Edie girlfriend sent me. I added two of the um, large tags that I made myself. Okay, I just, you know, cut them with my, um, um, actually, actually, um, I copied off of this one. The small ones, I, I got them from the other one. So this one was sent to me by um, Scarlett. Um, and then I, I put some glossy accent on her dress. I don't know if you can see that. Added some glossy accent to the dress. And then I glimmer mist um, around the um, background. And then I used my uh, um, ink dies, the Tim Holt ink dies on the back. And I've been having so much fun doing that. And then I did again ink dies, okay, my alcohol inks. And then I didn't do anything up here. And, you know, she can add pictures or whatever. And then right here in this page as well, I left it blank. Here, this is some of the things that I add, that I went back and added. I added this um, pocket here, and I went ahead and added some Velcro. And these are going to be blank tags, okay, that she can decorate herself, um, glimmer mist, whatever she wants to do with them. And I added two of those. And then I didn't put anything on the back of the, of the pockets. And then here on this page... I didn't do anything either, so she can have something to play with, something to add herself. And then on the next page in the back, nothing there either. On this one, this is one of the things that I went back and added. I added this um, here, <clears throat> and I decided to put some overhead um, clear acetate. And then to cover the tape, I went ahead and blinged it up with some of the sticker blings that she sent me. So I did that, and then on the back I left it blank so she can add whatever she wants to or stamp whatever she wants. She can add some pictures on here or just, you know, um, whatever she wants to do or leave it like that. And then on the back I didn't do anything to it either. And then this is the piece that was left from the cover. So I just added on in case she wanted to emboss or, or um, you know, just stamp some um, images on there. And then on this page, um, here I used another one of my large um, tags. And I didn't do any of the fibers or ribbons or anything like that on these because I didn't want to make it too bulky as it is. It's already kind of, you know, fat. So I didn't want to make it too thick. So if she wants, she can add those later. And then I added a palm tree. As I said, she loves palms. And then I just used a little bit of um, my ink dies here. And then um, this one, all I did was I added this little... Um, you know, um, I don't know, um, vine with the little bird. And then I um, I used my crackle paint on the bird. And then I didn't glue the bird and I didn't glue um, part of this right here so we can stick the, um, you know, the tag. And then on the next page, <clears throat> again, <clears throat> another pocket by Scarlet. It's a chipboard. And I added another uh, one of my flowers and some more feathers. And then these here, I went ahead and I used my new stamps to me, um, my uh, Stampin' Up stamps. And I used these three different um, circle designs, and I just randomly stamped all over the, the tag using different colors, different shades, and then the same, I mean not shades, but um, designs. And then the same thing with this one. And I just thought this one turned out to be pretty cool, and it, it almost looked like that. The paper, that's the way the paper came. But this is, like I said, the tags. And then, um, you know, I uh, use ink, the ink dies, on the uh, reinforcer part. And then, this one, all I did to it was inked it up around the, the little ring. And then I used some stickles. And then I just used some more ink dies here. Didn't do anything to the page. Here, this is some of the items that I went back and added. And, um, sorry if I'm too close. And I added one of the small little... Um, tags and I put one of the little brads that she sent me and then right here too 
there's another brad that she sent me and then these are just using again my uh, Tim Holtz um, ink dies and I, I um, did that to this side and then I just did the distressing to this one front and back so she can put some pictures or whatever she wants same thing to this page nothing in the front and back here I added another shipboard um, and I cover all these with um, some of my paper that I already had and then here I use one of my vintage stamps and I can't remember the I think it's by Kling and um, again I use for the um, you know the reinforced area I used um, some more inking and the same thing here these are all mainly used um, are stamped or, or, or um, colored in um, with using the ink dyes or um, distress inks and then in the back I just did some more inking and then the same thing with this one but this one I added a little bit of crackle paint which is the blue right there and here I use some of the uh, silver and then up here at the top I added a piece here added a piece of, um, of acetate so she can do some stamping herself if she likes and um, on the back of the page I left it alone because I like that bird cage there so I thought if she wants to add any pictures to you know right here or anywhere she can do it herself so that way she has something to do <clears throat> again I added another piece of this one here is just a paper there's no um, chipboard included but I did add another one of my little um, vintage ladies from the same um, stamp collection and again using some more of the Tim Holtz ink dyes and I'm just loving these ink dyes you guys these are the only colors that I had it's just a three pack um, so I had to go back and get a couple more <laughs> um, you get three to a pack for those of you that don't know um, and then this one here is using some crackle paint uh, the gold crackle paint and then on this side I use some more of the ink dyes okay and then on the back of this page is left blank and then I added a couple of more of my tags and some more of those little brads that she sent to me okay with the little star and then this one right here two stars and then I just um, this um, used some some of that uh, uh, glimmer mist that she sent to me and I distressed this one and then this one here I didn't add anything um, and then on the back, all I added was a, a chipboard. Here we go. And it says all about me, and she can put some pictures, some photos there that she likes to put. And then here, this, these are a couple of items that I went back there and added. Sorry. Um, I added these two bags here, and I added some little charms. Okay, as you can see, those little charms and i didn't do anything in all these pockets that i added later uh, that i decided to go back and add don't have anything in them they're plain so that she can have something to play with but i did put some um eyelids on them to you know to give it some you know some uh, support some stability so that you know it doesn't tear through when you start pulling on it or anything like that um and then i went ahead and use my my let me I'll put this back here so I can show you what I did if you notice the cut on the uh, bag I use one of those scallop scissors which is I don't have it here I am sorry I didn't but I'm pretty sure y'all y'all are aware of those those are the ones that have the different type of cuts and I use that to cut the um, the page there and then I went in there as well and use my circle punch to punch half of um you know half a circle and then i did that to this one as well this one here i went ahead and i added some fibers and i did the same thing to the one in the back okay i added a piece of fiber this one has um the charms front and back and then on this page i didn't add anything i left it alone on the back i used part of that chipboard that i showed you a minute ago and this one says true story and I went in there and I added two of the um, smaller um, size um, tags and again inking around the enforcing area 
and use one of my stamps and then I double stamped it front and back <clears throat> this one was using some of the you know um, the stickles <clears throat> nothing on the back and then this one here was sent to me by um, Scarlett the Pekingese um, scrapping Pekingese and what I did was I went ahead and I added some more of that gold um, crackle paint and then I glossy accent the um, the basket right here I don't know if you can see that but I glossy accent it uh, I probably can't see it anymore I think you were able to see it better from this angle anyway so there you go see that <clears throat> and then I didn't do anything to this page I left it alone again but then if we turn it the other way I went ahead and used my um, Tim Holt uh, die cut which is this one here okay and I finally got to find I, I finally got a chance to get that and um, and then I added the little birdie and the little birdie I went ahead and I used again some of my crackle paint the gold color and then those little black markings I used the um, uh, just a permanent marker and then I dotted a little eye and then I added some of my glass beads and I added a little snowflake right here and then on this page um, I just added a uh, one of those little folders again I mean um, envelopes where are we okay and this one has just a little twine tie on there and then on this page we didn't do anything to this one I didn't do anything to that one I didn't do anything to the one in the back. It has a boat that she loves to go fishing, sailing, whatnot, and she can, um, you know, do whatever she wants there. And then, I'm so sorry, but this is getting kind of heavy and I'm having to pick it up up in the air. And then here, I added a picture frame and I had to go back <laughs> and add the, um, the plastic, the, you know, the uh, clear acetate there so that her picture is protected by fingerprints and whatnot and she can add some kind of journaling or you know title whatever and I didn't do anything again to the back okay but then on the other page I added again another one of my little cages this one I went ahead and I went over it with some of that crackle paint and it's the um, I can't remember the name of it but it, I I'm loving this crackle paint and I used it on this vine here and I didn't add no bird because I added a vine and then I decided to go in there and added um, the uh, little larger size um, um, glass uh, beads and then on the back I left it alone she can decorate that on her own do whatever this one here I went back and I added again this page I mean this little um, packet here also and again to cover the uh, tape because I still can't find the tape that you use when you're using um, you know the clear acetate so I went in there and I used my punch to punch you know half a circle so that she can get in there and grab her pictures and then I double sided that and um, here I didn't add anything on that page and then on the back I just did a larger picture frame and again, she still has space here to do a title or journaling, whatever. And then here's the other piece to the back, because the back will have a, uh, a cover as well. Can you see that? And then I didn't do anything to this page, the green one. We're on the green side now. And she can add a photo here if she likes, or she can add it up here, whatever she likes to do, or she, whatever she would prefer to do. And then here on the back, we didn't add anything. I left it alone. And then on the next page, I love, love, love this paper here. It looks so vintage. So I decided to do the uh, Eiffel Tower. And I didn't do anything to the background because I didn't know if, you know if I should. So I left it alone, front and back. And then I used, again, using my, um, well, using my um, Tim Holt ink dies. And uh, that's what I did. And this is one of the ladies from the same collection, from the Kling um, stamp collection. And then I just went over with my ink dice on the other side and then on the back we left it alone and then on this side um, I added another one of my tags and I used the gold and blue um, crackle paint 
down here at the bottom I added another um, pocket and again using my my uh, punch and I think this is like the half inch punch and then I added a couple of brads that she sent my way and um, since they're music notes she can add anything any kind of picture or photo um, maybe I should have put in the clear acetate I don't know but um, you know that uh, includes something I don't know something somewhere she went dancing or <laughs> um, karaoke like we do <laughs> um, so that's that and then on the back of this one I did it all in um, like in a antique yellow and then here in the back to cover the um, the uh, brads clips I went ahead and I added a pocket and then you have a side um, a side tag and you can use that you can use front and back and then on this one here I left it alone and this is a whole page of nothing but shells and stuff because she loves tropical the tropical theme and then on this one I added another pocket and two more tags and these are the medium size using again my Tim Holt ink dies um, sorry front and back and then this one I use some gold um, some of the gold crackle I believe let's see yeah I use some of the actually it's the um, <sighs> those are the um, metallic the metallic gold ink dies from Tim Holtz I have it in gold and silver and I use the silver in the back and then here up here on top I didn't do anything this is one of my favorite pages here <clears throat> this one was using the uh, dress form that Scarlett sent me and I added these that Sandy left to scrap send my way these are part of my collection and then these are the same um, feathers that I picked up at Joann's and I added um, two um, two tags using um, the same lady not the same lady but one of the ladies from the same uh, stamp collection my vintage and I just added some little swirls there and then more crackle paint on the back and on the other pay on the other tag I use some gold and some of that um, um, this is the uh, the yellow kind of yellow or vintage yellow um, this uh, crackle paint and then some yellow um, um, the gold not yellow the gold um, metallic ink dye and then some the blue and the yellow there and then I didn't do anything to this page so that way she can play with that one but on this side over here I added uh, this little border here and then I added the same thing at the bottom these little flowers are simply a couple of die cuts that I think she sent me or Scarlett did and all I did was I glue, hot glued here here and here to give it some extra support and then I interlocked these right here and the same thing with these right here and then I glued them down and then that way I could you know stick these in there and I just used some of the stickles some um, more of the ink dyes and then on this one I did some little paw prints because she has two puppies for um, Frankie and Doobie okay and then on this one it's just you know this would have been the the back part of it but when I went back and I added the um, the uh, palm the palm one I added the I you know cut it in half and I glimmer missed this side here to cover the uh, the adhesive that it had on the whole eight, um, edge and then here's the back let me show you there you go there's the back and then you have another piece of acetate okay so that is my journal to me I mean from me <laughs> from me to Edie girl girlfriend I hope you like it and um, I had a lot of fun putting it together and um, I hope that you will continue to have the, the you know I, I just hope you you will continue to have fun um, you know adding your pictures and memorabilia um, you know um, anything that you want to do or, or you know put in there so um, that is that now I'm gonna go ahead and stop here guys because I'm already at 25 minutes so let me come back with part two just sit tight thanks